the energy where it best goes for you and your situation um i did pull this spread before i started actually recording uh your message you should see a little box somewhere up here and down there over there or with me actually pulling the car so you know i know some people are kind of sticklers about that but libra the song that i channeled for you guys this message was say what you want hold your phone you make decisions on your own, yeah. No one will suffer but you. So do what the fuck you wanna do. Do what you wanna do. Hey, go ahead and say what you wanna say. <laughs> uh, that's uh, do what you wanna do by Devin the Dude. And yesterday, when I was getting ready to do you guys' this message, and it's been stuck with me ever since then, I got Yams by Masego. Can I get to the Yams? Sweet Yams, show me the way, because I got bills to pay. What is it? Oh, somebody coming down the road on something. It sound like a four-wheel or something. Y'all, I'm nosing. But anyway, Libra, yes. Uh, with those two songs, I feel like uh, first with Devin the Dude, you know, I feel like there is a need for, you know, um, I ain't going to say step out of your comfort zone, but stop being so concerned about the comfort of others and say what needs to be said. You know, us as adults, we don't like hearing no. We think that's a insult or somebody being ugly to us or, you know, just really voicing how we feel. But that's a part of maturity and being able to take someone else's opinion and, you know, just accept it for what it is and, you know, and uh, being able to express yourself openly and uh, authentically without necessarily being worried about other people's feelings. Because if you don't communicate how you feel and the issues that you have, you know, um, there is very little progress that is going to be made. And that is the best way for you to get to, you know, um, a position of understanding in any situation, Libra. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this. I pulled two Oracle cards for you guys. Uh, we were supposed to get one, but y'all got two. So here we go. Your first one is card number 20, Beyond the Mind. This card is about thinking with the heart, being present, heart and mind connection, meditation, the bliss of being, quieting the monkey mind, fathoming the unfathomable, finding happiness within, going beyond intellectual limitations. The mind is a wonderful tool for moving us through the logistical elements of life so we can function in the world. However, its endless chatter, self-doubt, limiting stories, and subconscious programs can also keep us in our suffering. One of the fundamental problems with mind chatter is that it takes us out of the present moment. As soon as we are in the past or future, we can no longer be our most empowered in the present. Take a step outside of your mind-based concerns or limitations. Looking at things in an overly logical way will hinder you and obstruct access to your superpowers. You may be transfixed by a past experience. 
the past may be running you and making your mind spin so you cannot see what is really in front of you. Consider what your heart and gut are telling you. Step back and clear your mind. Libra, there is a need for you to do some meditation, boo. And meditation is not always uh, listening to binaural beats or sitting outside. That is not what meditation is. Me personally, I feel like meditation is um, it's going to be unique to each person. It's something that is soothing to you that allows you to get out of your thoughts. It's Usually it's with things that you enjoy, right? Like me, I love sitting outside. I will sit outside, sun up to sundown. I don't care what the weather is like until I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and that is how I clear my mind and allow myself to, you know, um, have a clear space for my thoughts to actually come together without them being, you know, berated by one another. All right. And Libra, also with this, this this feels like a lot to do with your solar plexus chakra also. Um, whenever you quiet your mind and listen to your body, your body sends you signals. Your body sees you, sends you signals as to, you know, which direction you should head in, what feels good, what doesn't. Whenever you get up out of the head and start, you know, using your body as the tool that it was meant for, um, you will be able to start making more intuitive decisions instead of everything that's based off the mind. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with anything like this, but your mind your your mind your brain is actually just a tool used to organize and store things it's um the knowledge that you have the wisdom and the way that you apply it and the action that you take that actually produces the result so you know it's going to in order for you to clear your minds your mind needs clearing just like you know we need to cleanse our bodies and purge our bodies and, you know, uh, cleanse our aura uh, and our environment, you know, things like that. It's important for you to do that for your mind so you can actually be able to start piecing together things that are beyond the mind because there are so much, there's, so, there's a whole other world beyond your mind. All right, last card that you guys got. Where you at? Where you at? Here you go. You also have card number 47, Stepping Through. This card also speaks into like that cleansing your energy, uh, which I feel like you guys need to do some saging. Um, you know, get you some incense, light that up. But this, you see the girl on the car, she like she's in the shower. This feels like to me spiritual bath. But let's find out what this card is talking about. Card number 47, Stepping Through. Follow your heart. Dream big. Stepping through something that has been holding you back. The threshold. Starting new projects. Self-belief. It is all possible. The road less traveled and trust. Um, I feel like there is a need for you to purge a lot of that old negative energy out of your system so you'll be able to feel more freely in stepping through. And y'all, I'm telling you, spiritual baths work wonders. I don't know if I... um said this in Virgo's reading or whoever's, but you know, you can find things around your home, you know, to do a spiritual bath with. And I'm pretty sure if you tap in, it's going to be some stuff that's really meaningful for your situation and it's going to help you out. Uh, but this also says to me, you know, just purging yourself of all that negative energy that others have projected on you in order for you to trust and be able to move forward. But this card is about step in and step up all those to all those dreams and projects you have been putting off. Now is the time to start, even if it's just one small element of the bigger picture. Although Just Do It has been coined by a commercial brand, it is one of many fundamental mantras that you can use to manifest your dreams. Let's see, we will always have myriads of reasons why today isn't the day. But remember opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor so it's all about taking a chance it's about that action you know we can say our prayers and um speak into existence but until we are in a position to take even the smallest amount of action that is whenever we will start seeing results if i hope i said it right when we start taking action now that we've gone over that let's get your words that fell out for you guys you have sarcophancy Sarcophancy is insincere behavior designed to win the favor of someone with social status or authority by flattery, being the yes man, teacher's pet, 
or narcissistic supply. The other word that you guys pulled was culture. Culture is transcending the stark realities of production and logic to enjoy life through human elements like art, music, cuisine, literature, performing arts, and celebration. Now, Libra, with this right here, with these two words, I feel like sarcophancy is something that you could be dealing with from other individuals or something that you may be faced with here soon. And it has a lot to do with you stepping into your own power and becoming the truest version of yourself. Doing things that you like, such as openly listening to the type of music that you like. Um, celebrating the way you want to celebrate. Doing things that feel good to you. Now, you may have just recently come into, you know, doing these things more openly and outwardly in front of people. And this feels like a lot to me, you stepping into your power and just becoming just this powerhouse. You know, it may not, you may go work a nine to five every day, um, but you being this truly authentic version of yourself, it is causing people to draw to you. And a lot of people who are still caught up in the matrix, you feel me, they are caught up on image and how things appear and, you know, the clout that come along with it, right? Uh, and it especially comes when of it, like, say it's somebody who has some rank, they're popular in your community, or you might just be showing yourself as like a pillar of your community, right? And the more you start stepping into this and your name starts buzzing or people are really just... Um, acknowledging you for being your authentic self or maybe just doing something that impacts your community or you know just just being you just sitting the tone and doing it despite how anybody else feels about it right people will admire you for that and because people admire you for that you will have a certain group of people who will try to cling on for you for that they will basically try to kiss your ass that is what sarcophagy is and you know if anybody is gonna be kissing your ass you feel me <laughs> I don't feel like, you know, you're doing this for people to kiss your ass. You are doing this because it was it's what feels good to you. But you want to be careful with who you associate yourself with because there may be some insincere behavior there. They may only want to be associated with you because of what comes along with you. And with this culture card, you know, I feel like this is this has a lot to do with just the energy of Aquarius, period. Um this has a lot to do with you stepping into a place where you're not only living the way that is best for you, but you're just living, you're just being yourself, you know, um, and that might defy logic to some other people. They may feel some kind of way about it, but you're going to have another group. They're going to see that, you know, like I, I'm going to use me as an example, um, you know, I am a light-skinned light woman. Hell, I look damn near white. <laughs> but me being an accumulation, of, you know, of all these things, and, you know, I think I'm fairly well-spoken whenever it comes down to it. But me being, looking like I am, where I come from, you know, people like to call you, with, oh, you acting white, are you acting like you smart, are you act bougie. No, I'm acting like me. I'm being me. But... I outwardly express, you know, how I appreciate my culture through how I dress, the music that I listen to, the art uh, that I create, uh, how I celebrate, you know, th all those different elements are what make up me. And I take different elements from different parts of, you know, my family lineage, you know, like, uh, we got Creole folks, we got people uh, from all parts of the Iroquois Nation, all of the Indians, you feel me? Um, I have Caucasian people in my family. Uh, we have uh, roots in Ireland, roots in France. Like, I've done the research to find these things out, and because they are the parts, the little smaller parts that make up the whole of me, I appreciate them. And I celebrate them and some people feel some kind of way about it because they think you're supposed to be one way and doing things in a certain fashion and that's not always the case and you know a part of appreciating your culture you know especially now you know my mom was just having this discussion earlier today like it's 2022 y'all this is not 1960 
<laughs> this ain't the 40s. This ain't the 1800s. You feel me? This is a whole, we in a whole new era. Um, and the way we used to do things and the way we used to live ain't gonna work moving forward. We got to adjust. We got to change. And the way that our cultures that we are most accustomed to may have been used to doing things, you know, we can take bits and pieces from that. Um, and, you know, as far as, you know, our morals or whatever you want to take from it. But just know moving forward, it's going to take some adjustments needing to be made and how we approach things if we want um, to have comfortable, conducive lifestyles that allow us to function uh, in the world that we live in today. So, all right, Libra, three things, three things that you need to be aware of for the month of February, boo, is things that are hard to measure. This is card number 93. 93 is a 12. All right, so 12 comes back to three. This comes to, like, collaborations, uh, mind, body, and spirit, you feel me, um, in your mind, you know, resetting through changing your mindset when it comes to certain things, um, using your body as a vessel, you know, that it is given to you for a right for you to take the actions that you need in order to move in the directions that you want to move in. And as far as collaborations, the things that are hard to measure, be careful with who you collaborate with. Be careful who you allow to, you know, be in your circle because everybody cannot be there that you have with other people. It can be hard to measure who's real and who ain't. It can be very hard to say uh, who's being sincere in their behaviors towards you and who really uh, has your back. And to me, I look at it like this. Um, I hear it this all the time. The ones who mind don't matter and the ones who matter don't mind. Um, you have to take a moment to step back and see. Uh, it's a song by Sir and called The Evils. He says, don't come around if you ain't been around. Whenever you start people automatically just popping up in your life, whenever you reach new levels, not saying, you know, uh, meaningful collaborations that are going to help you, you know, further ascend and reach uh, the point that you're trying to reach. But what I'm saying is whenever you have these clout chasers, people who are just around, as soon as you go down, they gone. And as soon as you come back up, they pop back up. Watch those people. Um, and if you know, like I know, you would dismiss them right off top because there's nothing really good going to come with that, you know. Um, if you couldn't be with me whenever I was building up this thing, why should I trust you to be in my environment while I've uh, got it established? Those are nine times out of ten the people who are going to help you uh, go ahead and tear on down all the hard work that you put in. All right, something else that you should be aware of for February, card number 30, things that are rip-offs. And that falls in line with, you know, collaborating with certain individuals. Just be very careful. Watch the patterns. And if you know their patterns already, people show you who they are every day. You see ain't nothing changed. Don't expect nothing no more or no less from them until they show you. If you're even in a position to allow them to show you, you know, some people might have to show you from a distance and work their way back in. Others, they may not have a place at all, depending on, you know, how you feel within about, you know, being associated with them and, you know, who they prove themselves to be and what they had in mind for you. All right. Last thing you need to be aware of is things you would like to take back. This is card number 76. That's 14. That equals a five radical change. All right. Now with this, we would like to take back a lot of things, a lot of the regrets, a lot of the mistakes that we made in our past. But one thing I've come to learn is no, mis there are no mistakes. And, you know, we might have regrets. We may have could have did things differently, but we ain't got time machines out here right now. All we can do is take the lessons that we learned from then allow them to help mold us into better versions of ourselves in order to move forward all right libra what you can be looking forward to uh for the rest of february you should have a boost in confidence this month or you know just a restoration of um just feeling confident in yourself and what you're doing um 
and you know make sure it's not make sure you're not getting that confidence from people who's breeding you up with insincere behavior because that false sense of confidence is going to eventually put you in a hole if it's coming from insincere behavior that's why you got to get this confidence boost from within you you know, don't rely on nobody else to give you that confidence boost. Um, when I say that, I mean, you know, it's good. It feels good to hear people say, oh, I like what you do. Uh, I enjoy this about you. Yeah, that can add to your confidence. But be careful where it comes from. Make sure it's sincere and make sure that the main source of that confidence is coming from you. Because, uh, you know, whenever we start looking for confidence to gain our confidence just solely off of how other people see us. It starts, it, we become reliant upon that. And, you know, it all starts whenever everybody else is gone. The only person that you got is you. All right. You have strength, newfound sense of strength. And I feel like this is all based around, you know, just being your damn self and doing it unapologetically. And you have a justice, your own freaking card. The best type of justice that you can receive, Libra, in any situation is by your success. Um... I feel like a lot of us know better nowadays, you know, not to seek our own revenge. That's, you know, God, revenge is one of those things that's best, best served by God alone because he know how to serve it up exactly how they need it <laughs> and in the amount that they need it in, right? But I feel like you stepping into this place of being your more authentic self um, is going to be your justification for all that you've been through, all of the past regrets that you may have had, and all of the ways that you may have felt ripped off. And I feel like this is a warning to, you know, don't be ripped off by people trying to be involved with you just because they see you doing something different from how you was doing it before, or maybe you're in a more elevated status. And now... From the tarot again, <laughs> you guys got the justice card, um, and it's right up underneath confidence. You got, like I said, your success is going to be your your success is going to be your greatest revenge whenever it comes to people who doubted you, and you know that that confidence that exudes from you the light that you shine towards other people you feel me is gonna be you know your reward like your restored sense of confidence because you're no longer doing things the way people said you should doing it should be doing it it's the way that feels best to you next you have the high priestess I feel like this is you tapping into your intuition or, you know, start looking into ways to where you can start building up your intuition and trusting, you know, those inner feelings, trusting what has been revealed to you whenever it comes to certain people. Like I said, people show you who they are every day. Trust that. Um, and whatever they are trying to hide from you, have the strength to trust in their inner knowing. And even if you don't know exactly what it is. Even though if you don't have receipts, if it don't feel right, trust, tr go tap into your high priestess energy and trust that whatever you are feeling is correct and move accordingly. Now, underneath uh, the justice card, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this is you, you know, he looking, he holding up the bag like, yeah, I got it. This feels like you being determined. You being determined to, you know, create an environment for yourself that feels good to you and that isn't so much focused on, oh, my ear ringing. That isn't focused on uh, other individuals and what they think about you. You know, some people feel like, oh, by age 30, you're supposed to have this and that going on or you're supposed to have that and that established. The way somebody else's life path may have went that ain't gonna be what had plays out for you we all got somewhere we're going but we all gotta walk our own way to get there you can't walk nobody else's way libra um and i feel like it's gonna be important that you walk your way from here on out do what feels good to you well all right libra that is all i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed your message let me know if something here was helpful for you boo um and be on the lookout for my other messages and if nothing else let me know how i can better be of service to you until i see you next time Bye bye